maybe I'm a 5,000 meter runner now. I cannot do the 1500 anymore. And so, because I ran really, it wasn't a good, it was a good time, but you know, I didn't run as good. But then he told me, you know, just go relax and, you know, one week of not doing too much, just relax because you train a lot before uh, you did. So therefore, you know, I relaxed. I, I knew that, you know, I had a speed. I felt really comfortable in the race. And in fact, at some point, I'm like, when am I going to get tired like in Eugene, you know? But then I kept running and then the shoot has one lap to go and I'm like, whoa. I'm still feeling good. So I'm like, well, let me go for it. And uh, I was careful not to wait too long. I just took off, I mean, hard, you know, like around 80 meters to go, which I rarely do. That's why I was kind of like struggling towards the end. But I was like, let me put it all out. I'm not going to let anybody take this today. So I took it and really that gave me a lot of confidence leading into, you know, the few weeks to come in Eugene. What do you have to do next to get ready for um, you know, I want to concentrate on speed. Um, I feel like I'm still rushed here. It's not there altogether. I know I have a lot of endurance, so I'm not worried about that part. If I'm going to get my mileage into it, like 50 miles a week, I'm, 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 I'm not worried about that. But most of the training will be uh, on the speed and maybe long, long uh, intervals on the track. But as far as doing a hard tempo, maybe one, and then maybe maybe 10 miles is going to be the longest I'll go this, you know, before the track. Bernard, how would you compare, I mean, to your shape right now, how you're feeling, how would you compare to when you set the American record last summer? Um, you know what, you know, it's hard to tell right now, especially after, you know, last week, and then, but, it's hard to tell, but, you know, I know that, you know, one race at a time, so, this was the race that I, I didn't know what to expect, really. I was just doing what my coach told me to do, he said, just relax, you know, don't put yourself in a lot of, uh, you know, don't demand too much on yourself, and, uh, don't believe also that you are done. You know, a lot of people start to say, "Oh, maybe we might have seen the end of it, at the end of you." But you know, it's not. He believed in me, and he told me, "Just go run smart. Not, not go, behind, not go too much behind. Not to, you know, not too crazy in the front. But you know, run, run relax. Don't expect too much of yourself. Just go run. But you know, you'll be surprising yourself. And I surprised myself actually, like you know, coming out there last lap, and uh, I felt really good. I mean, you've been running mostly 1500s all spring. How have you stayed so patient and, and just and you've seen some big marksmen throw down, especially guys like Bree, you saw Mo and Galen. Yes. How do you stay so patient and, and focus on your own training? Um, because you know, uh, it's one thing. If I was to enter into that pre-race, uh, the 5,000 meters, I might not have done well at all. So because it was good in my first race, when I'm not ready for it. So what would make me ready is the training that I'm doing and races that are shorter, like the mile and the 1500. So if I go to, to drop a big race, let's say winning is like 1256 or something like that, I'm ready now because I have the endurance, have the speed, the workouts that I've been doing, and these two races, last week and this one, tells me that you know what, my body is ready now to pick up, you know, and, and I'm ready now. So I just feel like ready. I wanted this person to tell me something, and it told me so much that you know that I'm ready. Yes, thank you so much. Appreciate it.